Auntie Love. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and a Merry Christmas Eve. We just pulled up to the church because we're going to be helping Pastor Johnson and Grandma Annie set up for the holiday service. All right, so let's get Livy out of her car seat. Okay, so today they are going to be having a food drive. So we, of course, brought some canned goods that we can donate to the people in need. August, if you could help me out with that, that would be great. There are so many canned foods in here. And by help out, she means carry. I sure do. You see my hands are full right now. I can't wait. This is going to be the best Christmas Eve yet. Mommy, who wants canned pineapple? A lot of people would be grateful for this canned pineapple. They're so yummy, right? Food is food. Preach. These are heavy. May we take them inside? Yeah, let's hurry up because you look like you're struggling. Well, I see Grandma Annie's car, so she should be inside helping Pastor Johnson. Wait, y'all, I see them. What are they doing in there? Do it for the Lord. I ain't gonna do it. Do it for the Lord. I ain't gonna do it. Do it for the Lord. I'm gonna do it. What is going on in there? Somebody knock out the window. Grandma? I know her hip hurting. Y'all saw that too? I got it. At church? Yeah, we saw you, you nasties. Let's hurry up and bring this stuff in because it is freezing outside. But that was disturbing. Hey, Merry Christmas Eve. Now, what is y'all doing in the house of the Lord? Hi. Happy Christmas Eve? Don't worry about it. Granny, we are all saw that so that's what you'll be doing behind the scenes apparently it was what do you call it now a trend i don't even want to know me neither i didn't like that trench mend where can august put down all the stuff we bought for the food drive just come on in and hush up oh right this way mm, i like this new church smell yes this new church is so beautiful i can't wait to see it when it's complete finished yup slowly but surely isn't it amazing yes what a blessing it is so big it will be even bigger once we get some more donations more donations we practically bought this church you and donations speaking of donations here he go y'all these cans that we brought were donations for the food drive, not the Pastor Johnson Foundation. Tis the season to give and receive. You have got to be kidding me. Pastor, you can get settled in now and start cooking. Cheapskate. Won't he do it? Yes, he will. I don't think I can leave this I'll help you guys get settled in. Thanks, Mom, because clearly Pastor Johnson has other intentions. Can we go look around? Yes, because y'all know good and well you are not about to help me in this kitchen. Well, actually, you might, Leah, but take your little sister with you, please. I want to go look. All right, don't get into too much trouble. Remember, the Lord is watching. Come on. Okay, so we have finally looked around the kitchen. We know where pretty much everything is. And I want the guests coming over to have a really nice meal. It's probably been a while since they had a meal like this. So we have to make it extra special. I'm going to start off by making a turkey because it's going to have to bake in the oven the longest. So let's go ahead and cut up all the ingredients. Can somebody hand me the Lori seasoning so I can season up this turkey? What are you going to be making, August? Hmm, maybe chili. Oh, that's a good idea. We could just have a huge buffet for everyone. Thank you, Layla, for the seasoning. And now I'll go ahead and put this in the oven. I got you. Thank you. Let's wash our hands. And I didn't even get to really check out this area. So this is where all the guests will be. And we even have this serving table. It looks really good. And here's the dining place. So let's start making something else. Oh, what's Layla about to be cooking up? The chili is done. Oh, wow, that was really fast. Festive fudge or whatever. I'm not about to hold you up. We'll see how this festive fudge turns out. Finally, this girl's learning how to cook and bake for herself. The turkey. Oh, thank you. Don't want to burn that because... 
the grocery stores are about to start closing. Hey, I heard that. Good. I'm glad you heard that. Because all you do is order out on your college campus, huh? All right, let me finish up this turkey. All right, the turkey is done, and that's going to go in the oven as well. Mom, where's the bathroom? I really got to go. I'll show you. Come on, girls. Does a salad sound good? I think a salad would be nice. Just a regular garden salad. Ah, uh, come on! Why are you over here yelling at the oven? I accidentally spilled the batter. Well, that's gonna happen. Looks like you gotta start over from scratch. Let's get a move on. These people need some really good dessert. And I wanna try this festive fudge brownie myself. All done! Do you need any help? Actually, yes, the people are going to be coming in groups. So if you could write groups one through four on some sticky notes and label the cans, that would be really helpful. Wait, they're done already? That actually looks really good, Layla. Oh, I know. We need one of those ovens at home. Mmm, they smell yummy. We most definitely do not need one of these commercial ovens at home. I finished with the cans, Mom. Now what? Well, since you're all done with that, honestly, I think that we just wait for the people to show up. They look a bit burnt. Okay, you look a bit burnt. Now remember, these are off limits. Who is coming in? Oh, Hi, Pastor. How's it going, y'all? Well, uh, you came at just the right time. The food is pretty much done. Oh, and the cans are labeled. How are those beans going? Because I know you didn't come back for seconds. That's great. I was eating those beans up. I bet you were. Well, at least we know that they're good. All right, but don't touch the rest of the canned goods, please. You need to worry about connecting your beard. Now, is there anything else you need us to do? Or can we sit back and wait for the service to start? Okay. Okay, okay. Just chill out for now. I have to I have to go for a little bit so I can get some money off the str I mean errands to run. Service starts in an hour. Okay, Pastor. Sounds good. Uh see you at the service, I guess. Got it! Have fun! See ya! Kids, Pastor will be back. See you later, Pastor. Looks like we can all just relax for now. So We'll see you when the service has started. Welcome to the Christmas Eve service and to the grand opening of our church. Before we start, I want to thank the Collins family for their donations throughout the year. They had some yummy ones too. <laughs> you know, it is better to give than to receive. So I have a gift for y'all. The donation box. Pass it around. Yes, pass it around. And don't be stingy now. The Lord is watching. Well, Pastor Johnson, thanks again for such a interesting service. And once again, the church is beautiful. But we're going to have to get going now. Ah, uh, can we please go home already? Because you said we would 15 minutes ago. Thanks for having us. Hopefully, we can come back next year. Right, it's getting late. Come on. Of course. Any more donations? <laughs> no, you are not getting any more donations out of us. Y'all hear some? Can I go wait in the car? It's too cold out here. Mm -mm. Find somebody else to do it. Okay, let's actually get going now. Oh, okay then. Merry Christmas, Pastor. Have a good night. Livia's getting cold too. All right, come on, let's go. Turn on that heater. Merry Christmas. Have a blessed night. And Merry Christmas. service was definitely uh questionable but i'm glad so many people came out and we were able to get rid of everything we brought to donate i never liked pastor johnson meanie pants we should help out at the church more i mean i would love to but it feels like it's kind of a scam when we bring stuff to donate and pastor takes it all for himself it's fun to pray though so i think we should Make sure you say another prayer for Pastor Johnson. Okay, so we have finally made it back home and everyone is getting ready for bed. Livy just had her bath. I helped her brush her teeth and now Leah is brushing her teeth. We got matching pajamas for the entire family. They are so cute. We're going for a gingerbread theme this year. I so clean. Yes, you are. And then we're gonna make some cookies and milk to leave out for Santa. So we still have a lot to do. 
but I'm ready to tuck these little kids in now. I'm done. Yay, I stay awake. Uh, no, you have to go to sleep. Because if you don't go to sleep, Santa's not bringing you your presents. And that wouldn't be very fun. Oh, no. Let's make sure we tire your little butt out so you fall asleep. She doesn't deserve any anyways. Ooh, Leah, you know you should not be talking like that. Because Mr. Elf is still here. It's true. Stop it. And you taught me to be truthful. Okay, I'll go ahead and report to Mr. Elf. Because there's still enough time for Santa to bring you some coal for being naughty. If you be mean, you get no gifts. Wait, okay, okay, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm, I bet you are. All right, let's make these cookies. What cookies do you guys want to make? We can make chocolate chip. We can make some frosted cookies. Gingerbread! Frosted! Okay, I, I mean, I guess we can make both. That's okay. Whatever Santa doesn't want, we can finish them off. You guys want to help me cut them out? I have the cookie cutters. Yes! Okay, come on. It's my favorite part. Livy, you can climb up on the counter. It's okay. Okay, let mommy roll out the dough. Perfect. It's nice and flat. Looks really good. And now, let's cut out the cookies. All right, let's finish up. Sleigh bells ring. Are you listening? In the lane, snow is glistening. A beautiful sight. We're happy tonight. Walking in a winter wonderland. All right, so the gingerbread cookies are in the oven. Leah, do you want to go grab a glass of milk for Santa? Oh, yes. Okay, Leah, be careful. Don't spill it. Go ahead, Livy. I won't. Or else. Do I smell cookies? Gingerbread cookies? Mommy! It's so nice and cozy in here. Yes, it is. Thanks to the fireplace. Why no presents under the tree? Because they'll be here when you wake up in the morning, remember? Oh, yes. Is here good for the milk? I definitely think that is the perfect spot. Right in front of the fireplace, so when Santa comes down the chimney, he'll see it. Yes, I'm so perfect. So the Santa tracker is on the TV. Looks like he's flying over the city of Adopt Me right now. That city definitely has a lot going on. Girls, remember, this is the last night with Mr. Elf. He's gonna go back home with Santa. So don't forget to say goodbye. So much love. And with joy and laughter. The cookies are done. Wonderful. Mm, they smell so good. I guess we can have a few before Santa. Can I have a jar, Mommy? What do you need a jar for? Put them right by the milk, Dad. No, we can't eat any. Yes, we can. To catch our elf so he doesn't go home. Duh. You can't put Mr. Elf in a jar. He won't be able to breathe. Santa will be so mad. He's not going to be mad. Shoo. He already done stopped at everybody else's house. Mommy, no! I'll give him air every day, Big Mama! Oh, Lord, these children. Pour all the ingredients in. Mix all that up. Perfect. These are gonna go in the oven, too. I might save these cookies for when the kids go to bed. I think it's time for you two to go to bed. Aw, oh, no! He won't come if you're awake, you know. See, girls? That's what I told you. She's right. Uh-uh, it's bedtime! Uh-oh, y'all made the Grinch mad. But then we can catch him and get his elves to make us more gifts. You must not want presents then. Fine, Big Daddy. Fine, I'm going to bed. Girl, you was going to bed anyways. Uh-uh, let's go tuck them in to make sure they're actually going to sleep. Leo, get up! I almost forgot to close this curtain. Yeah, Leo, it's time for you to go to bed too. What did I do? You think you grown? You still have a bedtime. And you want Santa to stop at our house, don't you? I suggest you take your little behind the bed too. I have a headache. Then go sleep the headache off. Let me leave. So why are you still sitting right there? You should have been done all that. Do you need us to tuck you in? Let's go check up on the other kiddos. Whatever. I'll tell Santa to take everything back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I got something for him. Come on, August. Let's go. Livy, we just came in to say goodnight, okay? Hmm, I'm trying to go to sleep so Santa comes. That's my good little girl. Good night, sweetie. Good night, Liv. And we'll see you in the morning. Mwah. All right, let's go check on the other one. Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. What brings you 
guys up here so late at night? Making sure you go to your room and go to sleep. I was just about to. Toodaloo. Night, night. Good night. Close your eyes real tight. We will be here to check on you in a couple hours to make sure you're actually asleep. Good night, Leah. Okay. All right. Come on. Let's go see what Leo is up to. Oh, my lord. I am ready for these kids to just be out of the way. I need to go to sleep. Uh, sounds like he's in the bathroom. Leo, we just wanted to say goodnight, and you know you could take that hat off, right? I know. I'll get to it. Okay. Good night, buddy. So, are you in pastor? You know, that's a private matter. Oh, my cookies are burning. Hold on. Let me go get them. Almost forgot about you, babes. Oh, they're gonna be so good. Got them. All right. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Sorry. I can't look at you the same after what I witnessed today. Now that the kettles are upstairs, I can finally enjoy me one of these cookies. Can you pour us some adult grape juice? I like the way you think. Sure thing. Layla, if you want, you can have a little sip. Nothing crazy. Oh, I was going to take a sip regardless. Thanks, Mom. I've been waiting for this one. Now you know which one is for you. Thank you, Annie. Now I know you're lying. What is this? That's enough for you. Now, I don't know what you be doing at these little college parties, but this is all you're getting at home. I just know it tastes so so dang good. Be grateful you got that. Thanks, I guess. I don't know about y'all, but personally, I feel a little more ready to wrap these gifts. So let's go do that. Okay, so we've been sitting here for a while, but we finally finished wrapping all the stuff that we got for the kids. So I'm getting pretty tired. I'm going to put this box down and let's be sure to turn off the fireplace so Santa doesn't burn his behind when he drops down this chimney. And oh, I didn't even finish the other cookies. Come on, y'all. Let's finish these cookies off. All right. And now that we're all done with that, I'm going to go ahead and get ready for bed myself. I'm going to go brush my teeth and stuff. And Merry Early Christmas. Good night, Mom. All right. Let's go get ready for bed. Good night, Layla. Good night, Annie. All right, so we're going to wrap up our night routine, and we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Yes. Good morning, everyone, and Merry Christmas. We, for once, woke up before the kids did, but I already hear them upstairs. So they're probably brushing their teeth and they'll be down here any second. But we went ahead and made us some gingerbread lattes, which are so delicious. Kids, come downstairs. Merry Christmas. A lot of gifts. I'm shocked. Merry Christmas. It's Christmas. Oh my gosh. Santa came. Hey, Mom. I'm really sorry for my behavior last night. Wow, it must be a Christmas miracle. It wasn't very nice. Thank you for apologizing. I really appreciate that. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Leo. Now go open up your presents. Aw, Leo. Good morning, Layla. Merry Christmas. Where is Grandma Annie? No one checked on Grandma Annie? Oh, there she is. Merry Christmas, y'all. Merry Christmas, everyone. My toy car. They all have your name tags on them. Oh, wow. It's a bluey dollhouse. Wow. There's more over here, guys. You know what? I need to open up some presents for myself. Let me see what Santa left me. Oh, this green one back there. I can't wait to play with this. Gift cards. Mom, there's a couple presents for you too. Grab some. Me too. Oh man, looks like those are just for the kids. But there are some letters on the mantle. I got my Tamagotchi. Yes. <gasps> That's so cool. I also saw some squishmallows over there. They were getting squished up by your father. Mr. Thickums over here. Really? Yup, it looks like there's a frog and a little bear. I must have missed those. What did you get, August? Let me see what I got. Ooh, a new coffee mug. I was hoping for a membership, but I like the coffee mug instead. I got Bath and Body Works candles. My absolute 
favorite. I got a carrot. That must have been a gift from one of Santa's reindeer. Layla, what did you get? Oh, look, there's one cookie left over. Do you want it, August? I got my Play-Doh. Great! We're gonna have a lot of Play-Doh around the house. Exactly what I asked for. I'm assuming it's a bunch of dollar dollar bills, right? Can I eat it? Girl, save that carrot. I can use it for some soup later. Yeah! Perfect! So you can go and buy whatever you want. I got new noise-canceling headphones. Oh, looks like Santa did get you those noise-canceling headphones so you can ignore us even more. Perfect for this loud family. I got some brand new slippers. What about my dream house? Looks like you gonna have to keep dreaming because, like I said, Santa was on a budget this year. But you got a bluey house. That's pretty cool. Hmm. I guess. Wait, I have one more gift. What is it? The thing I'm worried about right now is all this wrapping paper we have to clean up later. My new dance clothes. Where's the gift? I don't see any unopened boxes. It's out by the garage. Out by the garage? Before I open the door, everyone close your eyes. Okay, my eyes are closed. Wait, but I can't see. I think that's the point. August, you this better not be some sort of prank. Okay, let's go. Can I open my eyes? No, not yet. Girl, I see you peeking. But I see you peeking because I'm peeking too. Wait a minute. Whose car did you steal? Open your eyes. I hate to break it to you. We were already peeking. Ta-da! Not better than my car, though. Whoa! What happened to my mom van? Some workers from Mike's Motors picked it up today. This is your new mom van. This is your new and improved mom van. Oh my goodness. Guys, you shouldn't have. This car is so nice. Y'all are not allowed to eat in this car. And I mean that. It has that new car smell. Not no more. Livy's gonna have to move her little car out of the way. Okay, okay, okay. Let me just... Whoa. The windows are so beautiful. And there's even a sunroof. Come on, guys. Get in. This feels so nice. Okay. Oh, it drives a lot smoother. Oh, my goodness. I feel so spoiled. Whoa, that was insane. That was awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really don't deserve this car. Don't be surprised if you find this missing one day. Anytime. Okay, everyone. Well, I really hope you enjoyed watching our Collins Family Christmas. If you did, please feel free to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Yes, every time the snow is